Today I was asked, do I condemn Hamas? You wanna know what my reply was? Do I condemn my African ancestors for trying to free occupied slaves? The person just looked at me and I said, yeah, exactly. If you had the ability to control the black people on this planet, there isn't anything that you couldn't take, dismantle, destroy, or interrupt if you could mobilize black people. And so part of the ops agenda, a part of their modus operandi, is to find out which one of you niggas is a potential leader. And if you are, then we begin a work of progress on your life, which will make people get off of that. Um, it's a part of it as much as in any defense, you trying to figure out which way this dude is likely to go so I can rip that ball. It's the same. There's not been a successful one of those yet. So just like if you're a rapper, any rapper can get hit. <clears throat> yeah, we don't have a we can go through 300 years of history and look for all the black people that fit the description you just said. They never make it. Being the leader of yourself gets you nothing. Um, the people demand to be led regardless. Um, there's not 13 shepherds and all these sheep. Why? Because it's unnecessary. Just one. Just one that has the connection with the sheep which allows the sheep who has a brain about that small to be able to just focus on eating grass and not worry about falling off a cliff. We have the desire as humans to be led. We want to be led into battle. We want to be led into the football game. We, this is all because this is how we are wired. The cheerleaders and the pomp and circumstance, that goes back to the times of first humanity because we we do need that. Yeah. Well, you're talking about a myriad of leaders. You're not just talking about a single individual. Right. And I see a lot of people just be sitting back waiting on a messiah. They're waiting on right. that one person. But they are too, though. Who's that? The other side is far more diligent about looking for that messiah than we are because they know where to look. You probably wonder, why do white people pay so much attention to black people if they don't like them? You would think if you didn't like something, why would you right. be paying attention to it? I don't pay attention to things I don't like. What's the answer? The answer is, the liar knows what lie he told. You see what I'm saying? So even if I made it deceitful and I made you think that the answer is over here, but the answer is really over here, I'm still going to be looking over here. Me, the one that tricked, because I know this is the right answer. Black people have lost their identity, but our oppressors have not lost our identity. That's just why they chopped those noses off of the Pharaoh and the Sphinx in Egypt in the first place is because without this nose, we can tell you this is whoever it is. But with that nigga nose, it can only be niggas. Why would somebody vandalize a whole face and only vandalize one part? Nobody wanted to knock an eye off or take an ear off or no chins missing? No, just the nose. Because it's a brand. But what I do know is, once again, the word anti-Semitic is language abuse. Being anti-Zionist is not being anti-Jewish. So we're just saying there's no such thing as racism for holding other people accountable, bad actors that are within your community. Okay, guys, we are back in this book. I've read it before. It's called Nature Knows No Color Line by J.A. Rogers. This book was published in 1952. Wait says, an interesting gradation of all shades down to the black is exhibited by the Jews, especially dark, 
were the Jews of Spain and Portugal. Okay, very important point. The Jews of Spain and Portugal, the people whose kids were taken to Santo Tome, they were always black people, guys. Okay, don't believe those lies that they were white. No, it's not true. The Portuguese Jews were very dark, says Pricard. And why were they very dark? Because like I showed you in one of the books that we read before, they did not mingle with the inhabitants of the land. They didn't mingle with the Caucasian and the other people that were around. No. Okay, they only had kids with their own people, guys. Okay, they maintained the purity of their race. The Duchess de Ambrant, wife of Napoleon's ambassador to Portugal, said that the Jew, the Negro, and the Portuguese could be seen in a single person. Why? Because the Jews, the Negro, and the Portuguese were the same people, the same race, guys. Okay, so dark were the Jews, especially of Portugal and southern Spain, that many whites thought that all the Jews were black or dark. It's actually very funny, guys, because today everyone believes that all the Jews, all the Israelites are white people, but they are not, guys, okay? The Jews were originally dark and they were always dark, guys, okay? We're in this book now called History of the Jews by Henrik great okay this is volume four this book was published oh my god guys 1618 this is one of the earliest books i've ever showed you guys on this channel this book is all the shit okay 1618 let's see what this book says king Zhao. this was a king who was reigning at that time he had taken power in spain went still further in his cruel dealings with the unhappy spanish jews the children of from three to ten years of age whose parents had become slaves so he enslaved the spanish jews this king this evil king enslaved the spanish jews of that era okay so he ordered that their children from the age of three to ten years of age whose parents had become slaves he ordered them to be transplanted by sea to the newly discovered San Thomas or lost islands if you don't know where St. Thomas is guys it's just off the coast of nigeria guys okay there's a small island that you can see to the south of nigeria that is where saint thomas is so this evil king sent those kids there from the age of three to ten sent them there to be read in the tenets of christianity the weeping of the mothers and sobbing of the children the rage of the fathers who tore their hair in agony did not move the heartless despots talking about the king to recall his command mothers entreated to be allowed to go with their children threw themselves at the king's feet as he came out of church and implored him to leave them at least the youngest of kids the ones that still need their mothers but this king was wicked guys okay don Zhao had them dragged this don Zhao is the king he's still the same king Zhao or Zhao joao okay don Zhao had them dragged from his path like bitches who had their whelps torn from them it is to be wondered at that mothers with their children in their arms sprang into the sea to rest united in its depths the island of st thomas where the little ones were taken were full of lizards and venomous snakes and inhabited by criminals transported there from portugal most of the children perished on the journey oh my god or became the prey of wild beasts among the survivors it happened that brothers and sisters in ignorance of their relationship married each other oh my god perhaps the king's barbarity to the jews must be accounted for by the bitter gloom which mastered him at the death of his only legitimate son so that king his son was killed okay he's a legit son who got killed wow it's crazy guys okay but i want you guys to see what really happened to the children of the spanish jews many of the parents were enslaved in spain and portugal many of them i will show you guys in other books actually got sent to the americas as slaves many of them fled into africa to avoid this persecution that they were going through during that time but their children very important that you realize that their children were sent to santo may island okay and guess what guys they are still there today let me show you guys a few pictures of the people in santo may yeah these black people you are seeing here guys these are the spanish jews okay these are their kids many of them don't know a few of them might know but the majority of them don't know and based on these books most of them today are christians guys okay that's one of the things that these kings did he made sure that they were converted those kids were converted into christianity okay the religion 
of the Caucasian race. Okay, that is something I will show you guys in a different book. But for now, I want you guys to see. It's very important that we know who certain people are, guys. Okay, the Negro race as a whole, not a little bit, as a whole, are the Israelites. Okay, including our brothers and sisters in San Tome Island. Very powerful stuff, guys. Okay, very, very powerful. Okay, guys, let's see this book. This book is called New World Jewry. Okay, this book was uh, published by a man named Seymour B. Liebman. Okay, this book was actually published very recently, 1982, guys. Okay, it's not a very old book. As a result of the Spanish expulsion in 1492, King John II of Portugal had permitted approximately 100,000 Spanish Jews to enter his kingdom upon the payment of eight crudados for each adult. Children at the breast were exempt from the payment. Okay, so he didn't uh, collect any payments for little kids. During the eight-month period, many Jews who had not paid the entry fee or who were illegal immigrants were caught, <laughs> oh my god, and sold as slaves. So these Jews who tried to get back into Spain, okay, but they didn't have the money to pay because they had to pay about how much? Eight crudados for each adult, okay? Those who didn't have the money for that, what happened to them? They were caught and sold as slaves. Many young children, especially those whose parents had been sold as slaves, oh my god, were deported to the island of San Tome. Then a recent Portuguese discovery off the coast of Africa, okay, literally off the coast of Nigeria, guys. Many of the children were between 3 and 10 years old in age. In San Tome, they were read as Catholics, you see, they were taught Christianity to destroy them, to discontinue them from their heritage. Today, there are so many Negroes, not just in San Tome, but in Africa, in America, who are Christians and they don't realize that Christianity was used as a tool to discontinue them, the Negroes, from their heritage. The exact same way that Islam, yes, Islam, was also used to discontinue many Negroes today from their heritage, okay? Both those religions and even other religions too were being used to discontinue the Negro from his heritage. The Negro is an Israelite, okay? He's not a Christian. He's not a Muslim. The bereaved parents prostrated themselves at the feet of the king on a Sunday as he was leaving church and implored him to withdraw the decree of exile. King John was succeeded by his cousin and brother-in-law, Manuel. One of Manuel's friends was Abraham Zacuto, a Jew and famous astronomer. It may be due to this friendship that King Manuel freed the Jews who had been sold into slavery. He also ordered the return to Portugal of those children who had survived and were in San Tomé. Manuel refused a gift of money offered to him by the Jews for his gracious acts. Okay, so this new guy was a nice guy for a while, right? Let's see what happened next. Okay, that's the thing about all these other nations, okay? So every now and then they are nice to the Israelites, but eventually something snaps and then they become evil again, okay? So let's see what happened. Shortly thereafter, let me just zoom from right here. Shortly thereafter, the king, this new king, King Manuel, sought the hand in marriage of Isabella, the widowed daughter of Ferdinand and Isabella. The royal consent to the marriage was given on the condition that Manuel also expelled the Jews. A marriage contract was signed on November 30th, 1496. Less than a week later, on December 4th, 1496, Manuel decreed that all Jews, native-born as well as immigrants, had to leave Portugal by October 1497 under penalty of death and confiscation of all their property. However, there were no constraints on what could be taken by those electing to depart. He also stipulated that all Jewish children under 14 years of age were to be taken from their parents and converted and raised as Catholics at the expense of the king. Oh my god. One thing about all these kings, all these rulers in the world even till today, they might be nice with the Negro for a while, they might smile at the Negro but eventually guys. They always turn around and reveal their true color. Okay, that's the reality. And many of them, they hate the they hate the Negroes, guys. They hate the Jews. Okay, so when you go over to Santo Me today, guys, this is my point. And you see those Negro children. 
those Negro children are the children of the Spanish Jews. They are the Spanish Jews. They are descendants. Okay, although many of them don't have any memory of this. That is who they are, guys. Okay, very powerful stuff. Okay, that's, that's crazy. History is crazy if you guys go through it. We all are human. We all poop, sneeze, and do all kinds of things that make us all one and the same. Never forget that. Never lose your humanity.